Joining us now to discuss this is Ted Rossman, the bank rate senior industry analyst. Uh, Ted, great to have you with us. We all know that all these rates are going higher, will continue to go higher um, with, with more interest rate hikes. What are you st seeing, though, in terms of any potential cracks in the consumer? Subprime auto delinquencies are the biggest area of worry. And I think that's even more of a rising price story than a rising rate story, just because we know what's happened with car prices. Mm -hmm. I mean, the average new car price is pushing $50,000. A lot of people are having a hard time swinging those payments, especially those with lower credit scores. Credit card delinquencies are basically back to pre-pandemic levels, but that's pretty low historically speaking. Yeah, HELOCs are another area, of course, that adjusts uh, with every adjustment in in the interest rates. And so I'm wondering how, how much is there out there at this point in the cycle? Because I would imagine that when rates were as close to zero, people took out bigger mortgages and just got cash out. Yeah, I think the main point about HELOCs is mm -hmm. that this used to be a low cost form of borrowing. Mm -hmm. I mean, as recently as early last year, we were talking around 4% on average. And now we're north of eight and a half. So, you know, all of a sudden, that's really catching up to people. And I think that's a big point about the Fed's rate hikes the cumulative effect. Month after month of high inflation, higher rates, that takes a toll, especially on variable rate debt like credit cards and HELOCs. Right. And so give us an example, because you, you have the example of the notes um, of the average balance, according to TransUnion. The average credit card balance is $5,733. And talk about cumulative effects. You may be able to pay out that 20 percent on that for one month, for two months. But imagine this going for a year, forever, however long higher for longer means. If you make minimum payments in that scenario you mm -hmm. outlined at the average rate, which is about 20 and a half percent, you'll be in debt for 17 years and you'll pay about $8,300 just in interest. So that's that cumulative effect. We see more people carrying credit card debt and for longer periods of time. 60% of people with credit card debt have had it at least a year. It becomes a very persistent debt cycle, unfortunately. Did you say $8,300 in interest on the $5,700? Yep, just in balance. interest. So you yeah. add in the principal, and yeah, we're talking like 14000 total. That's a hefty price for something for $5,000 <laughs> of debt. Um, what concerns you the most about the consumer at this point? They, you know, unemployment still 3.6%, so historically low still. They've got the jobs. They've got wage increases as well. Should we be really worried about this right now? Right now, I think things are better than we would have expected. The job market, though, can be a lagging indicator rather than a leading one. So I think that's something that we worry about, just in the sense of, hey, there's only one way that unemployment can go from here. I mean, it has to go up. Mm -hmm. A lot of the forecasts are pretty benign. You know, maybe it goes to four or four and a half. Not to minimize those job losses, but that's pretty small in the grand scheme of things. It wasn't too long ago, you know, we saw double-digit unemployment during COVID. We saw double digits um, back during the Great Recession. We're a far cry from that. I think that's what's propping up the consumer now, the strong job market. How does buy now, pay later factor into all of this? That's such an interesting sector because it's cutting into credit cards a little bit, but that industry is under its own pressure. Just when you talk about the rapid rise in interest rates, I mean, this is a business that's really been predicated on low rates. Mm -hmm. So, you know, right now, I think the consumer demand is there. I think from an investor standpoint, the bloom is off the rose a little bit, yeah. um, but credit cards are still dominant.